when we first made promontory, uh, it's a great cheese, but there are a lot of amazing white cheddars out there. And we wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. And Tim, my brother-in-law, just had this stupid, crazy idea. You know, you put cream in coffee, why not put coffee on cream? And so away we went. The first two experiments that we did was our sea hive, which is our honey and salt rubbed cheese, and our barely buzzed, which is our coffee and lavender rubbed cheese. And so I'll talk a little bit about sea hive right now. So um, we've all heard about the Sundance Film Festival. There used to be a sea in the middle of Utah, in Southern Utah called the Sundance Sea. And that sea went extinct a long, long time ago. And when it did, it left this strata of salt. And there's a mine down there, it's called Redmond Real Salt. It's kind of got a pink hue to it, amazing salt. We use the Redmond Real Salt and we use honey that is produced on our property um, just up the road, about six miles up the road. We have hives and we have bees and we have honey. And so we use our own honey. We use salt from Utah. We rubbed it on the cheese. And one of the things, again, going back to ACS, we have gotten, the, had the pleasure to get to know Mary Quick. And she's with Quick's Cheddar. She's been making cheese her whole life. Her family has for years and literally centuries. And we, she said, Pat, I love your cheeses because they're balanced. They're, after all, I'm going to the store to buy a piece of cheese. I'm not going to buy salt and honey. And so when we started putting things on the outside of cheese, we wanted it to be accent the cheese, but not over flavor the cheese. And so Sea Hive is a really good example of that, where taste side by side with Promontory and Sea Hive, you're going to notice some big differences, but it's not in your face. You're not going to get sweet. You're not going to get salty. You're going to get just a nice balance. Uh, my brother, this is a goofy example, but my brother bought some really nice speakers one time and he sat me in a room, he made me close my eyes and he turned on some nice music and the whole room was just enveloped with music and you couldn't even tell where the speakers were, just the whole room filled with this beautiful sound. And that's the way we want our cheese to be. We want it to be just flow out. We don't want it to just hit you in the face with salt or honey or anything, but Sea Hive is really an amazing cheese. I love Sea Hive. <clears throat> My very favorite pairing with Sea Hive is just a nice gala apple in the fall. I mean, it's it's amazing. But Sea Hive. So when you get a, a new camera or a new iPhone, whatever, um, those those little white uh, silicon packets, they're desiccants. Those are to absorb the moisture in the with the camera, so it doesn't stay wet or get moist. Both honey and salt are desiccants, they're natural desiccants. And so sea hive becomes drier because a lot of the liquid is wicked out of the cheese by those two natural desiccants. So sea hive is a great cheese. It's really great with like Marcona almonds, great with figs. But my favorite again is with an apple in the fall. Michael, I want you to chime in here a little bit. Tell me about your experience with Sea Hive. With the Sea Hive, uh, you know, there's 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 not that awe oh, of Golden Retriever sticks her head in because she wants cheese. All right. She does. Yes, she does. All right. <laughs> so uh, uh, the saltiness isn't like when you when I imagine that you're using sea salt, that it's crusted sea salt, and it's not. It has a, a little bit of a nice saltiness, but it's not overwhelming or anything like that. And the honey is very, very, like what you were saying, is like you hardly notice that. But what I did was uh, David Grimmels uh, sent me some uh, Willamette Valley uh, raw blackberry honey, and I slathered that on it. and you know, it brings out a little bit more of the saltiness. And so you kind of get a little bit more uh, of, of the, the flavors that kind of come out. I, I thought it was very nice. 